I am super excited to announce the brand new inventory module and features. If you're not already subscribed, talk to your account executive or performance manager today to get your hands on it for your dealership. With this brand new module, we'll be integrated with all of these inventory partners that you see here with more coming soon enough, so stay tuned. The way that the integration works varies per partner, but to keep things simple, you'll get at least one update of your inventory per day in Activix. Without further ado, let's head right into the inventory and see the awesome new features. On the left, we'll find the inventory option. We'll go into the module, and at the top, we can quickly see, just like all our other dashboards, some pertinent total stats, like total vehicles, average price of all of our vehicles, and total vehicles in stock. When I click on a card, I'll also find the details for these pertinent stats. Here, I can see the unavailable vehicles and the sold vehicles as well. Here, we'll find the search bar. On the left, we have all of our vehicles, our new vehicles, and our used vehicles. In the search bar, we can search for a vehicle for our customers. There isn't a particular order. I can write 2020 Civic Honda and reverse any of these words in any order and we'll still find these vehicles. They'll still come up for our customers. On the right of the search bar, we have the search filters and sorting. Here, we can sort by column by default for which column we want to appear at the top. Then we can search for particular options like the MS status, which we'll go over in a second, the make, model, year, and of course we can search for different ranges. Let's say our customer wants a car between 20 and 30,000, we can very easily do so like that. And obviously all the options will be filtered as such. And then we hit apply to see all of those vehicles. The DMS status over here is not the same sold or stock status as an Activix. This is a status that is pulled directly from the DMS, which may vary based on different criteria of the integrations. So if a vehicle is sold in Activix, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's sold in the DMS, just something to look out for. Here we have all the pertinent information for the vehicle, and if we click on the vehicle, we can see a bit more information for that car. We'll also find on the right pane here, the associated leads with this vehicle. So if there are three customers who look for a car for this car, then we can see all of the associated leads and whether or not it was marked as sold in Activix. So if you wanna know if a car was sold to somebody else, but it's still in your inventory, you can see so right here with the Activix stock status in the lead. Of course, this can also give you more insights on how popular your cars are. If you list a car yesterday and it already has 10 leads, well, maybe it's an indication that this car needs to maybe go up a bit in price. When starting from the vehicle like this, you can obviously go consult the lead as here, which will open up a new window for you, but you can also create a lead from this vehicle. So if I wanna create a new vehicle from this customer, say it's a walk-in, they know exactly what car we want, we can simply hit create a lead. And of course, here we can create the lead as normal, but we can also search for a lead, and if this customer already exists in the CRM, we'll find them in the results here at the bottom right. So that's the first half of the inventory module. Start with the car and then create a customer or choose a customer from the car. But you can also do the inverse from the customer lead page. I can go into a customer lead, and then in the wanted vehicle section, I can simply do add a vehicle and then do add a vehicle from inventory. And here, the same modal will pop up that we just saw in the module. Keep in mind, however, that this module and options are only available for users that are using the new lead page. So make sure that you're using the new lead page if you wanna see these features on your end as well. Now here, we would simply do the exact process, but in reverse. We have our customer, we select the vehicle, we make sure that there are no leads that already have this vehicle as sold, we hit select, and the process continues. It's really as simple as that. I hope you love this amazing new module, and if you have any questions or comments, let us know down below.